lovely. Doing something new this morning. I'll show you what I'm up to. Here you go. That's uh, my newly acquired flow tube and I have a high gear, a spinning gear, I have a fly gear. So uh, the first thing I've managed to do when I put her on the water was drop my GoPro setup underwater and it was all unplugged with all the parts exposed. So not the best start, that GoPro might be gone. Uh, but I'll try to get onto this thing now without falling into the water, hopefully. Uh, and we'll see what it's like on the flow tube. If you see me recording something else later on, that means the GoPro managed to uh, continue to work. I put it up there so it's drying out hopefully now nicely. There's a bit of a sun coming up, so maybe, maybe it will dry and, and it will work, although I'm not holding my breath. Uh, if you see any nice clips, that means it works. And uh, if you see any clips, that means I probably survived that. Think. So we'll give it a bash now. Wish me luck. Second cast, guys. Second cast. My GoPro is still all wet and I'm getting myself a cracking pike. I'm just recording with a mobile at the moment. So I'll put it away. Hopefully I won't drop it down and I'll deal with this fish. But that's a nice fish. That's a good, that's a good double now. Brilliant, second cast, Mura's mouse, bang. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what a start. Second cast, my GoPro is all wet, so I can't really record. I, I'm recording with my mobile now at the moment. Second cast, Mura's mouse, and a big 90 plus fish. I can't really measure it. I, I, I'm not really too proficient with these uh, belly boats at the moment, but my second time, second cast ever on a body boat. And look at this fish, we'll just let her go now. Um, fantastic fish, she's a good, oh, I can't really show you, but she's a good uh, 90 fish. Off she goes. <laughs> you won't believe it. I measured that fish very roughly, so I might be wrong, but I measured it very roughly against the rod, and now I measured the rod against the uh, the ruler I have here, and that fish was actually over a meter. <laughs> it was <laughs> anywhere between 102 and 104. So, what a fantastic start! My very first fish from a flow tube in my second ever cast. I, I dropped my GoPro in, <laughs> and it doesn't work at the moment. Um, but I got, got the float, second cast, bam, meter please to start my <laughs> adventure with the float tube. Fantastic. It really is fantastic. And it's a lovely morning. I'll keep floating around for, um, for a couple of more hours. We'll see when I'll get very cold. The water is only under seven degrees. Um, uh, but I'll keep floating. Uh, I'll keep going around. It's a lovely morning so far. Beautiful. The sun is rising. So I keep going. Uh, I have my fly rod with me as well. So I let you know at the end of the day what are my findings with that flow tube. You are, if you are wondering, as I was for quite some time, should you get one? Shouldn't you get one? I'll just give you my very quick first impression. It won't be review or anything. Just how did I find that? And maybe I'll show you another feature too. In the main river, the water ra raging, but here in the old riverbed, um, it's uh, very high, but clear enough, and a lovely morning for it. Plenty of fish topping. Somehow, the camera is still working. Miracle. So um, I've drifted to the other side of the uh, channel now. Uh, in, on the way here, I had two takes, two fish which I lost and I landed that one um, one meter plus fish, the first one. So I just had an explosive take here, literally uh, three, four, five feet away from my um, uh, flow tube. <laughs> that little fish gave me some scare, but uh, I'm in the shallower water now, so I will try to um, cast a fly or two 
and we'll see what happens. Maybe I won't even stick it in that flow tube. That would be a nice start. The Mura's mouth I got the action on was about the same color, brownish. I think it's called a spotted, spotted bullhead, something along those lines. Anyway, it's a similar color to that, so I I will start with this, and we'll see if we can make anything happen. <laughs> oh no, it fell off. <laughs> that was a pike. It wasn't a huge fish, but... But it was a fish. It was a... Um, it was probably a, an, an average fish. Oh. I'm not coordinating this flow tube very well. Just floating back to where I cast it. What's going on here? Casting fly rod. Where I only was fly fishing a couple of times in my life and operating the fly tube for the first time ever. Mm, tricky enough. Oh, 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 that was something. <laughs> I just li lifted the fly in the water there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I might get rid of that line. Maybe it's a better idea. That's not that small fish, this one. Not the smallest fish at all. Not doing much, just... Just... She's steady. That's a strange fight, maybe... Oh no, she's not... She's not that big, but she is my first... Not first, my best bike on the fly so far. <laughs> Fantastic how they fight on this uh, fly rod. <sighs> okay, so firstly the fly tip has wrapped around the uh, around the side. Mm, okay, what am I to do with this fly now? Okay, we'll do it this way. Now the pliers. Open your mouth. Okay, I didn't have to dealing with this when I was lure fishing, wrapping fly into a pike seat. Open, open up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Lovely little pie gonna fly. Up. Off she went. Nice. That's the fly. 
doesn't look as nice as it should. That's it. Pike terror flies on Facebook. Thumbs up. Lovely flies. Beautiful, I just hung it there thinking what to do and then it hit. So I think I will work them uh, much slower now going forward. But uh, oh, it was really nice to get that fish on the fly. And it was only a couple of pounds small fish, but it fought on the fly rod also, almost as well as the big one. It's quite deceiving how they feel on the uh, fly rod, especially if you're unexperienced with fly fishing as I am. But it was a, a really nice uh, experience. So um, we'll keep going. It's not going bad so far. I had something like three or four takes, another three fish lost and two landed. Not bad, not bad. <music> I think I just had to take there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's a fish. There's a fish. <laughs> oh, what a great fun! <laughs> what? Don't go under, under, under! Oh, wow! If you fight a small pike on a float tube and fly like that, I'm looking forward to getting a big one. Come on! Come on, you ready? Are you ready? Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Ah. Bit better that. Getting larger. Where is my fly? Thank you, she wasn't even hooked. Just tangled in the... <laughs> Not handy. Hey, yep. Lovely. Off you go. Bye. That's a different start of a float tube adventure couple of fish, uh, two smaller ones on the fly and one better fish on the on the lures and also a couple of fish lost and a few bites but a uh, very good start, very pleased with that. Um, got a bit cold, not too bad, a, a bit cold but uh, uh, got a bit hungry as well so I just came ashore. Uh, I'll have some something to eat, some coffee and bag on the water, try to nap another one or two. But uh, yeah, fairly happy with the setup so far. I have my uh, lure rod, fly rod, the landing net is here, a fish finder and a few bits and pieces lures. So I'm um, quite happy with that so far. I'll see how it goes for the rest of the day. Maybe we'll be able to nab another one. Nice one, on a fly. Would be fantastic.
Yeah, yeah, fi oh, fish on. Oh, it's a nice fish. Might be a nice fish. Oh, that might be a nice fish. No, don't tell me it's gone, don't. Oh, no, 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 she's still there. Oh, oh. Might be a nice fish. I... Whoa. Trying to keep attention <laughs> and, and trying to remain front to the fish, front facing to the fish. Look at this. She said. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, might be a nice fish. Oh, lovely, on a fly, fantastic. Whoa, ho, ho, That feels heavy, guys. That feels heavy. <laughs> ah, that really feels heavy. Need to take my time. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Come back here. Come back. Come back to daddy. It's really... <laughs> that might be a nice fish, guys. I'm trying to point camera at the road, but I'm trying to control the tube, the fish, and the camera, it's not easy. It's not easy when you get pulled around like that. I don't know, either is a, is a fly rod makes that fish feel very heavy or it's really, I can't really tell the size of that fish, but I haven't seen it yet. I really would like to, I would really would like to land this fish. Okay, okay, I see the leader. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Not yet. First type on a tube. Oh, yeah, I seen the fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a lovely fish. Oh. That's a lovely fish. It might be a meter fish on the fly. Come on. No, no. She's not ready quite yet. Oh no, she's not. Oh, in the net. <laughs> oh, in the net. Okay. My arm is aching. I'm so happy <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? Yeah, it's not far over. That's not far over a meter. Anyway, 
Firstly, let's try to unhook this fish. Where's my fly? Fantastic. Show me my fly. Okay, there's my fly. Like, look, just, just, just look at the hook hold. So lucky. Pike terror flies, huh? Tomasz, I'm coming back for more of them. I'll measure that pole at home and we'll see what size she was. But um, yeah, just from there to there. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> went <laughs> in between my legs. Yes, 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 yes. I don't think I will need my uh, lures weights anymore today. I'm sticking with the fly. Um, that pole here is one meter long, bang on. So the fish was about 95, 96 on the fly. <laughs> it was a nice double. You've seen the fight, <laughs> fantastic. I'm um, all the way down the other, the other side of the water body of the water now uh, with the wind the wind got up but uh, oh, amazing I want more I want more I want more <laughs> let's keep casting let's keep casting now That was a lovely fish on the fly. I'm delighted with that fish. That, my goal, a, a goal I set myself quietly for uh, this winter was getting a, a meter plus pike on the fly. I was very close, but it was fantastic. It was a fantastic fish. And, and finally, only um, maybe two, three minutes before that, I seen on the finder a big shape right under my feet. It was a good, a, a meter fish, or around meter, under my feet. Just got a bit of a scare. Oh, 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 oh fish. <laughs> I was going to say I got a bit of a scare and fright from that uh, big mark on the finder. <laughs> and only uh, two minutes later, I got that. 95 <laughs> oh fantastic and here you go another fish not bad a bit smaller than the previous one lovely lovely fish <laughs> it's so cool when they, when they tow you around in the little floaty ducky thing whatever i'm sitting on a donut a floating donut and catching pie uh, no, I don't, that is, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't, I don't. No, pike teeth and the floating donut, probably not the best idea. Off you go. See ya later. This wind is not helping with the uh, 
boat control, but but maybe it's helping with the uh, pike activity because they started moving and slightly slightly better the last two fish. Is this caused by uh, tailing loops? Anyone who knows a little bit about fly fishing might tell me if that if that tailing loops that's causing the uh, the knots on the leader. Just seen a very big fish on the finder. Let's see if I can cast. Oh, fuck's sake! Well, you need to cast well. Before that very poor cast, I've noticed a big fish on the side scan, and I was just trying to cast towards that fish. Uh, and and I've messed up that cast completely and I think I've lost that fish now. I'll try to see if I can find it again. <laughs> I wonder is that the fish I've seen on the finder. <laughs> it's not that big. That's an average one. <sighs> Lovely. <Ooh. laughs> She's pretty mad, right? Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't know. It could be the fish I've seen on the side scan. Okay. There you go. I don't think it's the big one I've seen, but a nice fish. Very clean looking fish that. Five on the fly. High five. Billy Billy me, I've created a swirl with a fin and then I scared myself out of that swirl. My four-year-old daughter would be laughing at me. <sighs> you won't believe me. I just released a meter fish on the fly. I don't know why, but I wasn't recording. I must have, uh, I was changing the spot and I must have switched off and forgot to switch it back on. But I arrived back at the spot where I got the two bigger fish today. Same spot. Uh, I've seen a shoal on the way in. And uh, as soon as I came in, I've seen a few big marks and I've, uh, I've casted the same brownie fly and you wouldn't believe it, it just hit it like it meant it. Such a great hit. It was really strong hit. Uh, and the fight was amazing. Such a shame. I thought I was recording all the way and I've only realized now that I wasn't recording. But it was a brilliant fish. Didn't even take a picture. I, I, I thought I had it on the camera. But it was a brilliant fish. And I got my meter fish on the fly on my first time flow tube bike fishing with a fly rod. That was a good 5-10 minutes fight. Ah, I can't show it to you, but look, I'll keep casting. Maybe I'll get another one and be able to show you that one. Oh, 
No. <laughs> Lost that fish. I didn't hook it properly. That was a nice take. We'll try again. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Only a small fish. Oh, 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 oh. But every fish on the fly <laughs> are great. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Small but mad. Small but mad. <laughs> These little guys are dangerous. They might... They don't behave the way they, they're supposed to. And more often than not, they're the ones that will uh, stick a hook in your finger. In a typical Irish manner, it started raining. Um, oh, that rain is unseasonally warm uh, for a winter rain, so that's nice. <laughs> Not a bother. Um, it was a long day on the water. Well, winter days aren't that long, but but still, a few hours on the water is is, is long. Uh, but it was a brilliant day. Landed eight fish, seven on the fly, one on the lures. I've got a 95, 96 fish. I've got another on the fly, another one on the fly, one meter fish on the fly, first time <laughs> on the flow tube. And I got one or three, four um, on the lure. The only thing I regret is that you didn't get to see the first fish. The fight was amazing. She was going airborne and everything. Um, and you didn't see the other big fish, uh, the one meter fish on the fly because I'm a moped. And I don't know what I've done. I switched off recording um, moped. So I'm delighted with that day on the float tube. Um, first impressions, happy with that. Really happy. I I, I got I got the float tube. Um, the good thing about it is because you're paddling with your legs, you don't waste your time maneuvering, and you can keep casting, keep keep fishing. So that was good. So plenty of fishing time as opposed to uh, positioning your boat and all that. So that was good. Uh, from the other side, when it's windy, you need to keep paddling all the time to keep the stationary in one spot and keep fishing. So that's that's that. But but it wasn't tiring at all. Was it cold? That was another thing I was wondering before getting it. Would it be cold? The water was 6.8 degrees. No, it wasn't cold. And I've... Um, I've body warmer or under uh, underpants, then I have pants and uh, breathable waders. I have two pair of socks, um, just normal socks, and, and that's pretty much it. No, it wasn't bad. It's chilly, but it wasn't bad. So if you are wondering whether to take one, get one, well, that, that's my opinion, um, but I'm happy I did. Um, when it's windy, you do need to keep paddling, um, but it was a nice day. You, you are very close to the nature. Um, and um, it was a very busy day, eight fish landed, five lost, and maybe twice that many takes that I didn't hate to take. So it was brilliant. Now, if you stuck that long with me, I can only thank you. And if you wouldn't mind, just give me a like and subscribe to the channel. There is many more content, much more content coming onto the channel. So thanks for staying with me today and uh, see you next time.